Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 24th. But I've gotten a lot of comments lately saying about the timing. I had one person comment on a reading she watched from 2018. So thank you for your comment. Obviously, you're watching this. Um, saying that it just, you know, she just happened to go back and look and she decided to watch it for some reason and it and it uh, resonated right now. So anyhow, timing is fluid, okay? So I appreciate your patience and uh, I was on vacation. So my nails aren't done. I'm getting them done tomorrow. Anyway, I was on vacation in Maine for the last four days. So that's where I've been. So what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Three of Wands. Something is coming. You've been waiting for it. Something you've been coming that you have been waiting for. Mmm, there's a conflict here. Some sort of competition. Uh... Ace of Cups reversed, emotionally shut down. Somebody hasn't been getting the love, perhaps. May have been waiting for it, hasn't been coming. There's been some sort of competition. There's been some sort of conflict. Something's been in the way of love. It's coming, though. It is coming. The ship you've been waiting for is coming, but... This is definitely an emotional time. Somebody may be feeling very, very emotional. Maybe, maybe, maybe having a hard time controlling their emotions. Um, not feeling very loved or uh, sad. This is an emotional blockage. Somebody may have been blocking love even. Okay. Oh, but it's coming. Now something, something, because this is arriving. Four of Wands, this is commitment, happiness. There could be a celebration too. Something, this is something to celebrate, okay? There, there could be a gathering that is coming up. You could be meeting somebody at a gathering if you haven't, if you're single, put it that way. Um, but this is this is a celebration. This is a party where there's probably a lot of people get together of some sort. It's interesting because I've been shuffling. We get the three, the four, and the five, and I have you've seen me shuffling, which is interesting. With every card I shuffle, um, and they came out three, five, four. Anyhow, there's a lack of love here, or a lack of emotional abundance. Or somebody's been blocked or something like that. Hmm. Now there's something to do with commitment here. Hmm. Eight, not putting in effort, not working out. Something di isn't, didn't, somebody didn't put in effort. They didn't put in effort into a commitment or into something. Or they haven't been putting in a lot of effort. They're not, they haven't been trying hard enough. Hermit mode, yes. We have an independent single person here. And, you know, and I just feel that very strongly. This is somebody that is in, in hermit mode right now, but they're about to, you know, it feels like this person is, is very spiritual, very, uh, this is a loner. Somebody that is very wise that has been in a period of retreat. Probably not really looking for love, not really looking for something. This is somebody who is very independent. Somebody that is withdrawn. Coming out of hiding though, sees something. Somebody sees something. They've been enlightened. Maybe through a time of isolation or introspection, somebody has become enlightened. Now this person is not in hiding. They're coming out of hiding. 
they they are ready or something like that now this is withdrawal nine of wands very wounded we have somebody here that is guarded they are guarded they are wounded they've been hurt they've had to fight a lot of battles very very um, worried worried we have somebody here that is worried about getting hurt again and that's why they haven't been putting in any effort to uh, opening up emotionally they've been protecting themselves this person but I feel like this person is is they ready to give it one more shot this is like I'm gonna give it one more chance I'm you know I've been hurt I'm gonna give it one more chance my advice maybe you may want to just you know I understand a lot of you have been hurt really really badly and you may be weary you may be weary it's better off to be alone I'm just gonna be alone to hell with this shit that's where we're at right here with the hermit mode I'm just gonna withdraw I'm gonna do my own thing I'm not gonna look for love you know, I'm not going to put in any effort. I'm just, you know, I don't want to play games. But something is coming. So, this is an individual that has been very, very wounded. This is a warrior, okay? We have a warrior here. That is definitely thinking about commitment. Thinking about happiness. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Doesn't have to be. Um, could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is like expecting trouble. Don't trust. I don't trust. I'd rather be alone. I don't trust. Why would I put? Why would I want to put in effort if when I'm just going to get hurt again? I mean, you have somebody here that is probably fearful. Ooh, the mo <laughs> fearful. Uh, yeah. So that is fearful. The moon is fear. Okay. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead, but there's also some hidden forces. What's going on below the surface? So we have, you know, uh, somebody probably been hiding their feelings. Okay. Because we have hiding in both of these cards. They have been. Um, there's fear. There is fear. There's fear of commitment. Somebody may have turned their back on a commitment because of fear, because of illusion. Maybe there were some addictions. But they're thinking about something. They're thinking about uh, getting back in the game or giving it one more shot or something like that. Now, this is competition, too. So it's competition. It's challenge. So there's definitely some challenge, challenges here. Uh, we have an individual that is, I think, worried. Worried. Very, very worried. But they've been enlightened. And I think that they know what they want. They've become aware. They've become aware of what they want. But there's fear in the way. All is not as it seems. And somebody needs to follow their gut, but they're very, they're expecting trouble. You know, it's like they want to follow their gut, but they're fearful of fo to follow their gut. And this is not following intuition as well. So I think we have somebody here that has become enlightened. They Maybe they didn't follow their intuition in the past. Now they, you know, in order to get the happiness that they are thinking about, they're going to have to face their fears, even though the path is unclear. Okay, you got to face your fears. So, we have an individual here that probably gave up because of this Eight of Pentacles. They gave up. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles just fell out. So, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody that is solid, stable, loyal, hardworking. Uh, she has a value in her hand. She has a golden opportunity in her hand. This is, uh, she has some sort of value. This, this woman has some, some big value to her. She's very valuable. She has something to offer. Stability. Security. And she knows her value. And she's holding on to it. And she's not giving nothing to anybody. Holding on to it. So this person is abundant. So we have a, a wounded individual that is, 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 is fearful of uh, 
putting in effort with this person because this person's so valuable knows her value she she's not gonna settle for anything less than something solid only wants something solid so this queen of pentacles may have been waiting for somebody to come in this is waiting praying i'm gonna hold on to my value i know my value because that's value right there i know my value waiting 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 it's unclear if it's ever going to come. But there is somebody that is interested. This person is interested. But hasn't been putting in any effort because of fear, illusion. And it's like hiding. They're hi they've been in hiding. Because they've been hiding their true feelings. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer. Pisces, Cancer here. This could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Six of could be somebody from the past. Six of Cups reversed. It could be fear of rejection. The Six of Cups reversed is nothing stays the same. There's a lot of memories that have been blocked. Memories that have been below the surface. And I think you can't block the memories. It's like the memories. And I think it's very emotional time. I think the memories have kind of like been haunting somebody or something like that. Ooh, Emperor Reverse. Now the Emperor Reverse is an individual that deserts you in the time of need this could be a business owner somebody that has their own business somebody that has a big ego uh, that was under a lot of social pressure that may have made some poor choices could be a criminal this is somebody that is corrupt um, that likes to be in control could be a narcissist could be a tyrant this individual has some sort of secrets has a hard time dealing with their emotions, may use drugs or alcohol to bury their feelings, to hide their feelings, because the moon is ruled by the shadow. So we have a, a uh, inexperienced individual. This person may say that they are experienced, but they're not. This is somebody that may be on the wrong side of the law, um, may have made a poor decision, so the Emperor in Reverse makes poor decisions, impulsive decisions, based on social pressure, okay? So somebody made some poor, poor, poor decisions, illusion, okay? Poor decisions based on some sort of uh, social pressure. Now we could be dealing with a father, a husband, a business owner, a boss. This is somebody that uh, does things illegally. Hmm. Somebody may be feeling guilty even and I don't say that, I don't know why I feel that way But it feels like we have an individual that may be feeling guilty for how they treated another person And I think that they are thinking about Something what are they thinking about thinking about Commitment thinking about what that person had to offer Oh, thinking about a union, thinking about coming together, thinking about love, thinking about the connection. So there is there is a connection here, and it's a deep one. I think there's a deep love connection here where we have an individual that made some poor choices impulsively, and they may have deserted another person. I feel like this could be some sort of reunion or some sort, and I, I don't like to say that very much, but I just feel like it could. Um... We have an individual that has uh, learned something, I would say. There's definitely some fear. There's conflict. Somebody is feeling very conflicted. They're feeling very conflicted and they're hiding their true feelings. So this is somebody that likes to be the boss. And when they're challenged, they run. But we have a Queen of Pentacles here who is very, very valuable that has something to offer. So we have, and this is get prepared. Get prepared. Here it comes. Here comes a, here comes a union. Here comes a union for this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is set. She's very comfortable. She has um, money. 
She's solid, she's stable, she knows her value. She seems to have turned her back on the situation. She's just waiting for, you know, her ship to come in. She is. She's just waiting. I'm just going to sit here and wait. I'm going to wait for the my my partner that's going to value me. So I think that that partner is coming. Ah, Nine of Cups reverse. So the Nine of Cups reversed. I feel like things are about to get better. Um, deep fulfillment is coming. Um, singles are going to be meeting a, a soulmate pretty soon. That's what I see. There's been a lack of wish fulfillment, but it's right around the corner. This is manifestation. I think we have a queen of pentacles. What, what, it doesn't matter what sign. It could be anybody. This is somebody who is solid, stable, secure, knows their value, uh, is loyal, is hardworking, is abundant, doesn't need anybody to take care of them can take care of themselves the queen of pentacles is very independent she doesn't she 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 wants a union but she's not just going to give herself to away to any uh anybody anyhow um the nine of cups reverse is dissatisfied but wish fulfillment is coming so wish for a wish is about to be granted and it's really really funny because i took out this i took out this because i when i took it out i said a wish is about to be granted that's what i said before i started this re reading you know when when i took that out before i started the reading i was like hmm, what am i going to set my table up as today because i got some new stuff that i got that i'm going to set up myself i'll just take out the uh genie lamp because a wish is about to be granted and that is exactly what we have here Good luck.